Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to talk about multiple hiring opportunities for multiple batches. So make sure to watch the complete video. But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And I'm sure the channel will be helpful for you. So do subscribe and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description. So make sure to join. Well, let's get started with our first opportunity now. So here's the first opportunity that is from Eagle View. So let's understand about this. So they are hiring for the role of software engineer one backend, right? So Eagle View is a leading provider of aerial imagery, property insights and software that transform the people work. So we'll understand about the job description. So freshers invited to apply graduate of year 2022. Right, so we are looking for a talented software engineer one to join our agile development team. As a team member, you will participate in all aspects of the software development life cycle, scoping, design, coding, testing, implementation, and support. You will help in the development of Eagle View's scalable microservices platform and you're specially aware application across multiple industries and form factors. In this role, you must be able to multitask, quickly adapt to new development, right? So these are the requirements, bachelor's degree required, preferably in computer science or information technology or data science or related field, a strong programming fundamentals and ability to produce high quality code, knowledge using C++, Python, Golang, Java, knowledge with cloud technologies, Strong knowledge in Java concepts like multi-trading, Spring, Spring Boot, data structure and algorithm. Knowledge with a microservice architecture is going to be plus although not mandatory. Knowledge with PostgreSQL or other relational databases. test driven development mindset, uh, mindset and a focus on quality, scalability and performance. Solid understanding of agile development process required. Right, so this was all about this first opportunity. Before proceeding further, I want to share an amazing and exciting opportunity with all of you. So let's understand about that. So guys, this is regarding Geeko Olympics, right? So you know that Geeks for Geeks organize amazing content, right? Amazing content for us. So this is one of them. So they have organized Geeko Olympics. So what it is all about. So this is from 1st of July to 31st of July. Go down in history. So let's understand about this. So these are some of the events that are being organized for like they are going to be really helpful for you. So out of these, the most helpful uh, event that I would say that is this 24 days plus 24 problems where you are not only just solving the coding problems, brushing up your concept, but also you'll get some uh, rewards as well, some prizes as well for the same. So let's enter now here. So here you can under understand all about this 24 days POTD challenge. So basically, first of all, it's not as easy as it sounds. So what you have to do is you have to solve the problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks practice. As you do, you have to take a screenshot. You have to upload the screenshot of the solved problem on this Geeks for Geeks Discord channel, the description in the description you will find this uh, the channel link. Okay, so do this for 24 days without any break and keep uploading the screenshot on the channel. By the end of the 24 days, we'll they'll upload a Google form on Discord where you will be required to fill in your details to match your POTD username and your screenshot. When your details are checked and verified, your entries will be counted for the rewards, right? So this is an amazing opportunity, right? I'll be providing the link for this POTD and Discord channel as well in the description, right? So you can check it from there. Don't miss this opportunity, right? It will bring discipline in you and definitely you'll get some rewards as well. So here's the next opportunity that is from Qualcomm, right? So they are hiring 2022 engineering graduates with computer science or IT discipline. So this is about the company job area, right? This is a complete overview of Qualcomm. Just go through it. Coming to the job description. So as an IT engineer, you will work with a team of IT professionals and engineers to develop, implement and maintain various technologies for the organization. With a degree in computer science, engineering or information technology, you will be able to contribute to some of the projects below. Below are examples of roles and technology that you may work on during your internship. So first, I believe that they are going to provide the internship. So these are the roles uh, and technologies basically. So system level integration issues, framework to allow design and integrate project and program documentation, data analysis, network security, vendor management, development, testing, application, database and infrastructure maintenance project uh, management, server system administration. These are the technologies specified. Uh, in OS, you need, uh, like they have mentioned, Android, Linux, Windows, Chrome, Microsoft Office Suite, 
uh, enterprise, right? Certain certain things are there. Frameworks, programming languages, databases. Just explore about them. The minimum qualification that is needed is bachelor's degree in computer science or information technology. Twenty twenty two engineering graduates. Academic record you need is minimum seventy percent. Minimum seventy percent with distinction throughout the academic career, right? So. Let's talk about our next opportunity. So that is from Dunjo. They are hiring data engineer one. What you will be doing in this role? So ingest and aggregate data from both internal and external sources to build our data sets, build large scale batch and real time data pipelines with data processing frameworks like Apache, Beam, Spark on the Google Cloud platform. Continuously optimize our data warehouse. Use best practices in continuous integration. Help drive optimization, testing, and tooling to improve data quality. Collaborate with other engineers, business analytics. And stakeholders taking learning and leadership opportunities that will arise every single day. Now, who you are, so you must be curious and take initiatives to build systems and ease the lives of data stakeholders. Have at least zero to one year of working with heterogeneous data and system. You know how to ensure data quality and add an agent for automation of the data platform. You know how to write, distribute services in Java or Scala or Python. You understand the value of collaboration within teams and can build relationship with a diverse set of stakeholders. So certain points are also there. So just go through them. And if you are meeting the eligibility criteria and you are interested for this opportunity for this role, then this is the form provided. Provide your information and apply for the same. The link for all these job opportunities are provided in the description. So you can just check it from there. The next opportunity that we do have that is from DXC Technology, so they are hiring Associate Professional Software Engineer. Now let's first discuss about the basic qualifications. So you need bachelor's or equivalent combination of education and experience, bachelor's degree in computer science, management, information system, or related field preferred. Entry level opportunity it is. You should have conceptual knowledge of theories, practices, and procedures in software engineering or operating system programming. Acquired through a college or university degree or equivalent work experience. Other qualifications you need are so basic analytical and problem solving skills for design, creation, and testing of software. Interpersonal skills to interact with customers and team members. Communication skill to interact with team members and support personnel. Ability to work in a team environment, work environment, office environment. Right. So here they have specified about the job description as well. So you need to perform system modeling, simulation, and analysis to provide appropriate software solution to meet client business needs. Provide input for documentation and assist in documentation of new or existing programs to ensure information accessibility. Participate in design, developing, troubleshooting, and analyzing software programs that operate with hardware system. So uh, similar to that, certain other points are there. So just go through them. So this is the last opportunity that we do have for this video. So that is from Cognizant. Cognizant is hiring for the role of programmer analyst trainee. The location is Bangalore. So responsibility is understanding the functional aspects of the client requirement. So requirement analysis and efficient task execution, documentation. That's all you need. So just go through them. Learning training must have skills, Salesforce customization, Salesforce configuration, right? So yeah, these were some of the opportunities for you. I hope you have found them useful. Also, guys, don't forget to register for Geek Olympics. It is an amazing opportunity for you guys and start coding and start winning amazing prizes as well. Thank you so much for watching. Do find all the links in the description and don't forget to follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter as well. And please, please do join our Telegram channel as well to stay updated. Bye bye.